Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for the Lamplighters League. As we continue our quest for some undrawn cards or undrawn hand or something like that, and looking for a tower. Um, we just faced off against 12 enemies. Not intending to. I guess we were too loud over here, and we, we pulled them into us, which I just got to be more careful of in the future. That's fine. Thankfully, they all had to funnel down these stairs, uh, and we were able to get into a position where we could just knock them out as they came down. So... Got a little bit lucky on the positioning, but could have been really, really bad. Uh, we are going to just evade one more time here. Get everybody's movement points back before we move up onto these last two. Um, let's just get everybody reloaded. Reloading. Cool. And then we will end our turn. Yeah, they're just stuck up there. They're confused. That's all right. We got a little bit lucky that they got so confused like that. Uh, I guess we can move you up. Um, honestly, I'm tempted to double move you, but I don't know that we need to. We can just move you up slowly. Move and evade, and we'll just start moving these other guys up as well. You can technically, you know shoot one of them, but not of any level of quality. Got an eye out. Oh, we missed the Overwatch. There we go, I got that one at least. All right, I think we can actually light up these two. Come on out now. Good stuff. And then we can just do a simple dual shot. I guess on you. Um, I mean, if we move you up, we might be able to get a shot off. No, uh, we, if we move up to where she's at, so let's move her up to strike here. And then I guess she can just finish them off. If I finish this one off, that's fine. Well, not quite the adventure I was imagining, All right, that's That was easy enough. It will have to do. Lots of dynamite stuff. I'm sure we were supposed to have used the dynamite, which we did not, so all is good. Let's move. Any special things we want to go collect up here? Some more what supplies. More supplies over here, it looks like. Distinctive, distinctive smell of smoldering fumes. Hot lead and resin still linger in the air. Oh, we can actually kick it over to spill it. Okay, I didn't know that. What do you think this generator does? Don't know. But it looks like it's leaking. Oh, we gotta destroy this. Uh let's back up then. And grab let's we'll grab Latif here. Pistol shot the generator. Alright, now let's get out of here. Let's get it done. Uh, where are we going? Down? That's that. Marcho's generator is crap. Now let's get out of here. I guess this sets back the Banished Court's plans for the tower. Whatever they are. Ask Locke if you're so curious. Me? I'd rather get rich than get wise. Cool. Got intel, supplies, skill points. All is good. Martel's generator is in pieces and my three new agents are on their way back to the island. They proved they can infiltrate a court outpost and sabotage infrastructure key to the science plans for the tower. Now comes the real test. Will the undrawn hand respond to them or has it, or as it has to lamplighters for hundreds of years? I'm just trying to, couldn't read that for a second there. Unlock an agent's skill tree to unlock the fullest uses of their abilities and 
passives. Ah. Mission results. The Undrawn Hand. The Undrawn Hand reveals a new fate. After every mission, the Undrawn Hand etches the agent's experiences onto its once blank cards. Place these cards onto the agent's tableaus, tableaus to change the way they fight. Stack cards of the same type on a slot to increase their effectiveness. Discard cards to receive ink, which can also be used to bolster the Undrawn Hand's powers. Collect modes of fate on missions to unlock new and better cards. Okay. I don't actually know what these do. Oh, after reloading the agent's next attack deals plus 10% damage. And then ranged ability deals damage that ignores armor accurate at medium ranged. Honestly, it would almost be kind of nice to give her a ranged ability. One blow to the nose. And then probably, I don't know. The toughy. I like them both a lot. Probably doing the most shots with him overall. Most like pure raw damage. We'll give that to him. Lamplighter activity. It's done, Mr. Luck. Mr. Marteau's generator is a smoldering wreck. No sign of Marteau himself, though. A shame. I was hoping to get a look at the great American industrialist. Be glad he wasn't there. Marto Industries makes a ton of stuff, but it's their weapons division that keeps the lights on. And I hear old Trace personally field tests his prototypes. But your sabotage set back his operations. My informants have confirmed it. Yeah, that'll keep him out of the tower. Though I'm still unclear on the how. I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. Try us, why don't you? At the top of the tower, at its crown, sits an energy source. Greater than anything else on Earth. If any of the three court scions got their hands on it, there'd be nothing they couldn't do. This power is both dangerous and unstable, and taking control of it requires preparation. My informants are tracking the court's progress, and they grow closer by the day. That is why your sabotage missions are so critical. They buy us the time we need to reach the tower before the court can complete their preparations and set their plans in motion. But we can't hold off the court and find the tower at the same time. I need more agents. Who and where, Mr. Locke? There are two, each in different parts of the world. One is a combat medic, Anna Sophia Rodriguez. The other an assassin who goes by Celestine. Both are on the court's bad side. Specifically, the court's third leader, Wolfram Strum. It's taken me months of searching to find them. And now, with Strum bearing down, we only have time to rendezvous with one of them, not both. Fortunately, extracting one agent should buy the other enough time to slip Strum's notice until we can find her again. The details of both women's whereabouts are here on the map. Let's get to work. Sounds good. All right. Um, let's check these real quick. Enjoying those cards we stole for you, Mr. Locke? Oh dear. All that trouble for a blank deck and he draws pictures on them. I didn't draw these images, Ms. Erickson. In a sense, you did. Not possible. I always take the utmost care not to damage or alter the pieces I steal. It's not an accusation. The cards of the Undrawn Hand are working exactly as they're supposed to. You must have done well on your last mission. So these are what? Tarot cards? Tarot cards only read one's fate. These cards can change it. I don't believe in fate. Fate is the decisions we make and their consequences. It has no need for your belief, Monsieur Lejeune. It believes in you. Oh, hey boss, just inspecting the casks. <laughs> uh, looks like you've been doing the same. Uh, well, it's bad luck to drink alone. What are we drinking to? To the lamplighters. Oh, you're lamplighter drunk. Well, 
The casks look good, so uh, I'll just take this bottle and go. The Undrawn Hand. It responded to them. I hoped, but I didn't expect. What do these mercenaries have in common with the Lamplighters of old? All questions are answered at the bottom of the bottle. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me. The Lamplighters were heroes. Paragons. We stood for something. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to stand against the banished court. And now I'm all that's left. This world is fresh out of heroes, Captain, and the court is closing in. So I must go to war. Not with the Lamplighters, but with scoundrels, thieves, and killers. A losing hand. But they're the only cards I have left. Oh, this must be some damn good scotch. If this is the game I must play, I will play it to the bitter end. The Great War proved that the court could withstand a cavalry charge. Let's see how it fares against knives in the dark. Interesting. So this mysterious tower contains an energy source. Well, it's not as romantic as ancient treasures, but potentially far more valuable. You angling for a piece of the action, slugger? Why not? The court certainly is. And for all Locke's talk of preserving it, I expect he is as well. What kind of energy source can you find in an ancient ruin, though? The next radium, maybe. Who knows? Nothing the eggheads can't do these days. I don't know. Either Locke is crazy, or there's something he's not telling us. Hmm. Field report. Oh, okay, that's just what we just did, okay. Um, I guess let's check let's the supplier. Nothing here that I feel like we desperately need again. Uh, let's go to the agents and figure out what we want to do here. Upon using stick and move, Inger gains plus two speed. That's actually pretty nice. Honestly, given, getting the Overwatch might, might actually come in handy. There was a couple times where it would have come in handy there. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab this because it's just it's just interesting, I suppose. Um, let's go over to you. You got a four down here. I mean, this is really good. There's probably things here that I would like, but this just feels really good. I also get Bullseye 2. What's the difference here? Double damage. Reduced cooldown. Okay. Oh, it's guaranteed to hit and crit. Oh, that's huge. That is pretty massive. And reduced cooldown. Yeah. But a stacking 20% crit chance on crit could also be useful. I think we'll go with this one first, but this one's also very good. I'm going to grab that one. They're, they're both really, really nice. Now I'm glad I gave him the plus 10% damage because he's starting to become a big heavy hitter for us. All right, let's go to the world map and see what we got. Locke has lead on two new potential agents, Combat Medic Anna Sofia Rodriguez and Occult Assassin Celestine. Expand the roster of agents by running either of their recruitment missions now available on the world map. Recruitment missions will appear throughout the campaign. They grant extra skill points to help the new agent catch up. Oh, that's cool. Only Anna Sophia or Celestine can be recruited this week. The other will have to be will have to go to ground at least for now. I think we'll take the um medic. Which is her. Yep. I think we'll go for the medic. Uh a support medic and saboteur. Oh, so she has also saboteur with miraculous healing powers. Uh the Maglodite order forbids violence of any kind, even in self-defense. Clearly, Anna Sophia disagrees. This is a critical mission. Yep. Uh, just because I'm curious. Occult Sass and a Sneak. Well, that makes sense that she'd be a Sneak as well. So that, that makes sense, yeah. I think we'll go for the Medic. Um, just feels like it would be a useful one for us. Uh, I'm assuming we can just take all three of these. Uh, so let's go. Anna Sophia Rodriguez, Combat Medic. An unlikely ally, but a useful one, I hope. Though trained in the sacred healing art of the Magdalite, uh, Magdalite sorry, Order... Uh, Rodriguez traded her holy vows 
of non-violence for a rifle when the banished court tried to steal medicine from her convent. She's been on the run ever since. A mag delight who can hurt as well as heal is a powerful ally. I just have to reach her before they do. All right. Let's go rope this woman into Mr. Locke's strange quest for an electric tower. Keep an eye out for Strom or his people, too. Steady as she goes. All right, we're going to run with him first. Um, Actually, no. I'm going to switch to you because it looks like they got something over here. On the move. Smoke bombs, supplies, supplies. All right, cool. That looks good. Let me come over here first. I was going to say, I bet there's some people over there. And there are. These are Sentinels. Snapshot. Zero, zero chance to crit, though. They have an overwatch ability. Okay. Not sure what that noise we're hearing is. Oh, there's another one I saw moving just now. Oh, this must be some sort of like monitoring device that's helping to monitor or something. I don't know. Let me, okay, let me just, let me. Observers and sharpshooters, the court's sentinels can detect and eliminate even the stealthiest operative with terrifying accuracy. All right, that makes sense. All right, um, let me, let's just come back here, guys. Come back here, come back here, come back here, come back here. I figure how I'm going to attack this. Okay, that group together I like. But let me just come over on this side. Come up to these tall boxes. Let me ungroup for a second. Bullet holes riddle the brickwork. Mementos of wars, great and small. All right, we're just going to move you up here. I'm just going to move you guys all up individually for a moment. I'm not sure if I'm trusting that or not. All right. Um, let's get a look at some things. What do we got here? Any explosive things? I mean, there's a dynamite crate way back there. We're not really in a position to go after it right this second, though. I don't know. Um, honestly, what we might need to do is move Ingrid up here and be ready to... In fact, we're about to be ready to just do this right now. Can we get all three of them? Oh no. Oh, we did get all three. Okay, I thought we did. I couldn't tell. Well, howdy. And we got rid of three. Five still to marry me. That's not bad. I think we can handle this. I didn't really re mean. I, I was going to try and cancel it, but I accidentally hit it anyway. It's okay. Um. Alright, how do we want to deal with this? Technically, he's still stealth, which is interesting. She has a ranged ability, which doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's something, right? Um, we can get a blinded on one of these, which actually might be the right move right here. I want to move her farther away or closer to these guys? I may just move her over here. I don't want to leave, move her too far away. Actually knock down both of these. I mean, she's going to be out in the open though. Probably not what we want. I think we just evade her. Um, 
Um. Move up to here, we get a little bit of a shot on a couple people. Not much, but it's something. It's not great cover, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Wanna dance? Actually, not bad. Not bad at all. I to put a decoy up here now. Oh, is the decoy is where he's at. Oh. I understand now. Eighty five percent chance to miss. Of course we did. All right, not great. Close one. I don't think so. All right, so far so good. Trick in the book, Buster. Okay. Um, we definitely want to move him up. You can get rid of her, just where you're at, so we might as well. For that matter, we might as well move you up and get rid of this one as well. Still got two AP. Come back to you. You need to move up out of the way. We're going to move you up to here. And probably just dual shot a couple of these. All right, you also need to move. Hmm. Not great. Actually, what he can do is he can move here. And then he can decoy here and move up further. They can't hit me if I'm not dead anymore. Where the hell did you learn to do that? Oh, just another day for the gentleman. Now, it might take some damage from this explosion, but I think it'll be all right. Um... You still have two extra points. You could actually still do some damage here. You could actually get rid of him and still hide, I think. No hard feelings. We didn't we didn't get a action point back from that. I guess not. Well, that was a mistake. Thankfully they're going for the decoy. Well, one of them we did. Oh, both of them did. Perfect. Put both shots into you. Getting warmed up. You should have some ammo left, so that's useful. We might just take the reload, though. I mean, you do have an extra little bit of chance to crit, but it's only 50-50. No, we're just going to take the reload. I forgot that the reload's what triggers his 10% extra damage. Um, I mean, we might as well just move here. And get a shot off. Basically, point blank, 100% chance. Didn't get the crit. 
Of course we didn't. Just in case we don't get her killed off. Ah, right, we'll get her. We'll get you. I don't even care where you move. <laughs> Just move here. Cool. That's good. We got it. That actually went really well. Um, yeah, not too bad. Uh, looks like we got someone over here we can pick up. Not bad. I'll take it. Muffled voices, voices reverberate. Goodness. Muffled voices reverberate off the thin steel, then stopped abruptly. Um, where is she? She's up. She's up this way. You could probably ignore these guys. I could steal the eyeliner off your eyes. Hmm. Curious what's up here. Let's come up here first. <laughs> yeah, I think we can ignore that group entirely. Just bring everybody up this way. Scrawled on the wall in chalk, a clumsy hammer and a sickle, and the slogan "Seizure Power." Someone has come up with ink. Someone has come by with an ink pen and drawn the court's towers insignia over the communist iconography. Do I see this? I don't see it in front of my face. <laughs> Apparently, I'm blind. Um, all right, let's go grab you two. You guys can group together to here. Let's bring you up this way. Advantages, Don't mind if I supplies. Do. Surely there's more of the uh, the stuff up here somewhere. Hundreds of wooden crates line the walls of a vast warehouse below, each stamped with the insignia of Marto Industries. All right, so can we sneak up on this guy? I feel like we could if these guys pass by. Definitely think we could sneak up on this guy. Sorry, he wasn't stealth. I didn't realize he wasn't. Oh no. Alright, that's fine. At least I get one of them. Oh, got two of them out of the way. That. That was not bad, actually. It wasn't expected. Now that I know I could do that, though, that's really good. Um, that's fine. This is fine. We can make this work. I mean, he's going to be a little bit out in the open for a minute, but um, I was not expecting them to come up that close, to be honest. Not a problem, really. The fact that we got rid of two of them right away is honestly just about as good as we're going to hope, other than the fact that our guys are too far away to help at the moment. But, uh, does he have his decoy? Oh, no, he only gets one decoy. Okay, that's fine. Um, really, we just need you to... We can distract here. Honestly, probably just shoot this guy twice. Too 
tempted to move back before we do anything, though. Hmm. Just take the shots here. Surprise. I think he'll be fine. Bad day. I could be wrong, but I think he'll be fine. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, one shot, one throwing a grenade. We can handle that. Alright, let's get our reinforcements up here. Get rid of that guy. I may move her back to cover, but let me move him up first. See what he can do. I got the. Oh, he's got two actually that he can shoot. Not very well, but he could light them up. Has a slightly higher chance to hit. He could also just Overwatch. I don't think that's really going to help us, though. Let's light him up. Now we got one of them. That's that's not bad. And actually, both of them get marked. I didn't realize that. All right, you got two AP, so I would like to get a shot off, maybe. On the guy that's just sitting here. But we probably should move first. Then you get some evade. And then we'll just take the shot here. Alright, you... I guess we'll move back into some sort of cover. It's not ideal, but it'll be alright. Get it next time. All right, starting to get a little hairy over here. Um, you need to move. Hmm. I don't think you can get close enough to do that either. I want to move you to here. We might be able to move you the rest of the way to get up, knock him out if we can get something on him in a moment. Honestly, a lot of these are melee, so we're just going to move you up. I'm not going to worry about cover right this second. Um... Get rid of this guy right now. We could also just overwatch this way guarantee that we're going to get something. That leaves this guy open, unfortunately. I think we got to get, gotta get rid of the guy that we know we can get rid of. One less shooting at us. I think this is actually a pretty good time for this ability. I wish we could get all three of them, but that's alright. <laughs> and then he's only got one shot, but we can overwatch here and if everyone moves first, we'll get a good shot on. 
And then I guess you... Honestly, I think we're just going to stick and move over here. Blind you. So all three of these are blinded at the moment. Now, the only one that's not is this one back here and, of course, her. But I think she will have to move pretty far to be problematic. So we'll just move you back here. And I think this will be okay. Just hoping the blinds help. Alright, we got it. Wasn't, wasn't who I thought we were going to overwatch on, but that's okay. That works best when you hit them, right? Alright, so you still... I guess that's 100%. Does that go down when you're blinded in melee? I actually don't know, because we haven't had her blinded yet. Alright, you need to reload. No matter what we do. Um, I mean, probably just point blank the person in front of us, or kill one of these other ones. No, we probably just need to point blank the person in front of us. Oh, you're actually lower on health than I realized. Hmm. I'll move him up. We might get in the range to be able to do some stuff over here. Can't quite get those back there, but taking out these two front ones is still worth something. Time to light them up. Maybe we should have saved that. Maybe not. Um, you only got one action point left. Hmm. I can move her up. Actually, I can do the... I can just strike this one over here. I just I didn't realize it first. You break easily. All right, that's, that's very helpful. I'm actually going to have you evade. And then I'm going to have him bandage himself. Not the real score until there's a scar. I mean, if we've got somebody to throw this at, we might as well. Three enemies remaining. We got this. Uh, we're just going to reload here, Reloading. and then we're just going to light up what we can. Get. So even if we don't get the hits, we'll get the marks on them. Come deal with this guy. Can't get close enough to hit him, so we'll just throw this at him for now. He'll be low enough you next turn. And you... I don't know, just... Overwatch for now. To put on a show. Satchel charge, I guess is what that is. Alright, you can move up and then get the kill on this guy. So we'll just do that. Alright, you got one move left. We'll figure that out here in a moment. You need to move up. 
Hmm. Not really getting any good shots on anybody. Without exposing yourself. Alright, we're just gonna move up here. Get in high cover. We're gonna have you... Actually, you know what? If you move up over here... Mm, I was gonna say, if you can move up over here, that'd be great. Not really as helpful as I was hoping. We could double move and he would have double evade though, right? So we'll just do that. Alright, hopefully they go after him. It's gonna be a long episode. <laughs> I want to do it as finish finish this mission. Stress. Battle takes a toll. Everyone on the field, both agents and enemies, accumulate stress during combat. Displayed as a meter just above the health meter. When a stress meter fills up, the poor so and so suffers a stress break. Okay. After a stress break, agents have one fewer HP on their next turn. And when the mission's over, the undraw hand will deal out a breaking card. These fateful cards bring trouble to those who carry them and are difficult to dispel. Oh, so you still got... I thought the evade... Next. So how did he get stressed if he got evade? I misunderstood how that worked. Or maybe he was just stressed because of the situation. Actually, you know, I am going to go ahead and put a cut in here. This episode is going to get really long. I'll put a cut in here. We'll come back and we'll finish up this episode in, or this mission in the next episode. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.